Hey there people, how's it going? Welcome to Vinyl Friday. That's right, we've reached that point of the week again and this is what we're looking at this week. This is a new release. This is Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll. Um, it says Tina's greatest hits on there. On the hype sticker you can see some of the songs on there. However, I would act, um, I'm happy I've got this but I would issue a bit of a buyer beware on this one. The record company could have done better. Let me explain. So, before I continue, nothing against Tina Turner's music. I absolutely adore Tina Turner's music. That's hit after hit after hit. And Tina is one of them artists I could listen to all day. We sadly lost her last year. Um, I actually did a Vinyl Friday special of three of her um, albums. So, search the channel for that one. But, yeah. I got this through. I paid um, $22.99 for this from Amazon in the UK. And... I've got to say, I'm, I was a bit disappointed with it. I wasn't disappointed with the music that was on the record, but I was disappointed in how much music was on the record. It could have at least been a double. This is just one single record. This is just like the, the standard thing, okay? So um, on, let's just take a look at it, and then I'll get to why it's a bit of a disappointment. So on the front there, you've got a lovely picture of Tina. It says Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, um, and the hype sticker there. And let me turn it around. These are the songs that are on it. What's Love Got To Do With It? Let's Stay Together, Private Dancer, We Don't Need Another Hero, Thunderdome, Nutbush City Limits, the 90s version, uh, River Deep Mountain High, Live In Europe. And on side two, you've got Steamy Windows, I Don't Want To Lose You, uh, I Don't Want To Fight, when the heartache is over, Proud Mary and the best. Okay, so you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tracks on this record, which you know it's a good it's a good start for a Tina Turner album. Certainly, um, I'll bring in the record so you can quickly take a quick gander at that before we move on here. So it's just standard black. I have played this. It's just on standard black vinyl. And um, on one side, you've got the label that actually says Tina Turner. And when you flip that over on this side, you've actually got a picture of her. So that's pretty nice. Let me get that record um, sleeve back up. There we go. Um, the inner is just a standard like paper inner. It just says Tina Turner, Queen of Rock and Roll on it. And on the other side, it just lists the tracks. So why was I disappointed with this? Well, number one, it could have been better. I love each and every single one of these songs on here, but I wanted that entire thing, you know. They could have made this a double, put more tracks on there for $22.99, certainly. So that's when I thought, screw it, I'm going to buy the CD. Now, I don't usually show CDs on Vinyl Friday, but I picked up the CD, and um, the hype sticker is different to start off with. It, so, it says, um, celebrating 50 years of Tina Turner and her legendary solo career, right? This one, the CD is put together so much nicer. If we open it up, you get pictures of Tina in here. Okay. Tina Turner, Queen of Rock and Roll there. A nice picture there. And carries on. This is a three CD set. And you do get a booklet in there as well, but I'm not going to get that out tonight. Um, another thing about it is you see the tracks on there. These are the CD tracks. You can also see that some of these, you know, the track listing is different. Track number one on the record that I have is What's Love Got To Do With It? Track number one on the CD is Whole Lot Of Love. So, yeah, you can see all of the tracks there on the discs, right? And there is three CDs there. Now, I've got the entire lot here on CD. But you can buy them on vinyl. The only thing is the goddamn price of the thing. So let me bring in my phone and I will show you. So I hope you can see this if it shows up. So you've got a 180 gram box set there. That is five LPs. Okay. And there's the album. If we go up, you can see the price there. The original price was £111.67. But if you want the five um, uh, LP um, a box set with all of those tracks on it in the same order as the CD, 
on Amazon right now. Um, as of time of recording this, it's eighty five seventy one. But if I scroll down, you can see the track list in there. Okay, and they are exactly the same as on the uh, CD. So I think they could have done better with this. I really do. They could have done so much better. They could have. Um, you've got three CDs there, and they also brought out a five LP set. There is also another version of this as well which I think is just this standard one, but it's on like a clear vinyl as well. Um, but what really, that you know, a 12 tracks on there and on the CD you've got, well, how many here? Put it this way, on the first CD you've got 19 tracks, then on the second disc you've got 18 tracks, and then on the last CD you've got 17 more tracks. And they can only do 12 on this. They should have done this as a double, and added more music for the money. They really should. Um, I'm not disappointed um, with the sound quality. It sounded great. Like I said, I am a Tina Turner fan. I've grown up listening to her. My mum was is a Tina Turner fan. So, but you can imagine my disappointment when you spend that amount of money um, and uh, you get, you know, you just get the... Um, uh, 12 tracks on the record if I quickly put in on my phone CD we'll see how much Amazon are doing this for now I paid um, 16 pounds for the um, CD myself but Amazon have actually got it cheaper uh, if I click there let that load in so here we go the same CD box set on Amazon right now there we go and if we scroll down that can be got for £14.84. £14.84 is a hell of a difference to 85 for the vinyl. I understand that sort of like there's manufacturing and there's pressing and there's, you know, the vinyl itself and it's more sort of like a analog thing. But they really, really could have done a better job with this. They really could. They could have put two records in and added more songs for the cash. I really do think they could have. But here it is. I have it now and I have played it. So if you just want a small blast of Tina Turner, there you go. I can also um, show you the comparison between these hype stickers as well. So on there, it says Tina's Greatest Hits. That's basically what you're getting on this. Even though one of them, Nutbush City Limits, is the 90s version, which is a more poppy version, which isn't really that... Hasn't got that same feel as the original. But you can see the hype sticker there for that one. And there's the hype sticker there for that one for comparison. So you get the entire thing on the CD. So I'm going to say, if you want just a few Tina Turner tracks, um, buy this record. If you want everything, save your money and actually get the CD. I'm actually recommending a CD on Vinyl Friday. What is going on? But, you know, £85 is a lot for a five, a five um, record box set. And yeah, OK, great. It's probably going to be a collector's item in years to come. But £85 is a lot when you ain't got it, you know. So that's just a bit of food for thought there. Something to think about. But, you know, for the tracks that are on here, they do sound good. Um, you know, and um, I did enjoy listening to the record. So there is that. So I'm not going to complain too much about it. But, yeah, I'm basically just annoyed at the record company for putting 12 tracks on a single record when they could have done a double and done like 24 tracks. They would at least, you know, if they did 24 tracks, that would have been, you know, there'd have still been room for the five record box set and the CD still. So yeah, something to think about, but I do hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Tina Turner, queen of rock and roll. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, all that's left for me to say is don't forget to subscribe here if you're new. Turn on them post notifications to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video or stream. Also follow me on Instagram at FlawlessRage2. But for right now, guys, it is time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and always remember to be you, be the real you, be the true you. Because no point in being anything else, is there? Take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.